Well, where's that come from? No way. <laughs> Are you Simone McGill? I am. Wow, nice to meet you, Simone. Yes, and you? Simone, can I ask, what are you most well known for? Um, people know me mostly for playing football. I play for Aston Villa and Northern Ireland. Aston Villa and Northern Ireland. Wow, that must take up a lot of your time. It certainly does. And I see you're down at the golf course today. Great shot, by the way. <laughs> Is it a new career path? Um, potentially a retirement plan. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Well, with shots like these, I think it could be. <laughs> so, Simone, what's been the biggest highlight of your football career so far? Um, I would say qualifying for the Euros um, was certainly probably the highest uh, moment in, in my career anyway. Qualifying for the Euros? Yeah. That is quite incredible, I have to say. And what was it like playing for your national team then? Um, playing for Northern Ireland is probably... I would say my proudest achievement. Um, I've played for them since I was 15. So I've been capped over 70 times. Um, the goal is to minimum get to 100. So hopefully in the next few years, I can do that. The goal, I like the pun there, Simone. Very clever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was obviously a big high for you. So have you had any low points in your career? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think as good of a moment as it was for me to qualify for the Euros and get to play in it. In the opening match, I, uh, I suffered a, an ACL rupture, which is an injury I've literally just got back from now, nine months later. Um, so I would definitely say that's probably one of the lowest points that I've ever had. I'm sorry to hear about your injury, but I'm glad you're back and recovered. Have you been able to get back on the pitch at all? Yeah, I actually um, made my uh, debut for Villa um, only a week or uh, last week. Um, so that was kind of like my full circle moment and uh, finally getting back on the pitch was, was amazing. And how did you deal with it mentally? How did you cope with overcoming that, that low point? Um, I would say that mentally um, is probably harder than it is physically. Um, obviously it's kind of like an unwritten rule but as soon as you, you do your ACL, it's kind of a minimum nine months you're looking at, so you know it's going to be a long one. So I think mentally, it, it's just having the right mentality towards it. You've got to be patient. You're going to be frustrated, but equally, you've got to trust the process and you've just got to take it one small step at a time, which is something I tried to do. So um, thankfully, I got to the other end of it, which is where I'm at now. So fingers crossed I can get back on the pitch and stay there consistently injury free would be great and and what got you through that low point what, what made it easy for you to get through um i would definitely say my family my friends uh, teammates were were brilliant um in terms of just their support and then obviously the the facilities and the club their support and guidance to manage me and get me back the day-to-day -day, um the slog um it can be very tough long um, but you've just got to stay focused and, and driven to get yourself back and yeah, thankfully I got there. Well, I'm glad you're back, like I say. Now, a bit off topic, what's your go-to meal to start <laughs> the day off right? Um, my go-to meal, I love poached eggs. Um, so every morning when I get to the training ground, I have two poached eggs and some brown toasted bread um, and a little bit of pepper on top as well that's such an athlete's meal <laughs> full of protein what's your favorite cheat meal Simone um I absolutely love an Oreo milkshake so I would say that you know if I'm just craving something and I feel like I deserve it I would definitely say I would I would get a wee Oreo milkshake and where and does the mo uh, the best Oreo milkshake the best there's actually this place um, near the training ground called the little dessert shop and they deliver it right to your door it's actually too convenient oh, so, so you don't even have to get up I don't even have to get up no perfect Simone if you weren't a footballer what do you think you would be doing if I wasn't a footballer um I don't know there's loads of things that I enjoy doing um, 
I really like photography and things like that. Um, quite into uh, photography, videography, that kind of stuff. So maybe, maybe I would have a gig on the other side of the camera as opposed to this side. Do you want to have a go around here and interview me? <laughs> I could do. We could go after. <laughs> <laughs> And what do you think your friends would say you'd be doing? My friends? Um, oh, goodness. I'd like to think that they think I'm funny and they could say I would be a comedian, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure they would buy that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're making me laugh, Simone. Oh, goodness. Really me. good. <laughs> you don't think golf is on the, on the horizon then, as that would be a... No, definitely not yet. Oh, <laughs> well, with putts like that, we could see you at the Masters any year soon. <laughs> Who's the best opponent you've had to face in your career? The best opponent? Oh, goodness. Um, I've got to play against some of the best players in the world, just uh, especially on the national team. Um, I would definitely say in the summer um, when we played Norway, um, playing against the likes of uh, Hedeberg and uh, Graham Hansen, um, who are up there, you know, winning Champs League, etc. They're top quality players, but I definitely say coming up against the likes of them would probably be the toughest. And do you think those players would be down here honing in their golf game? Um, who knows? I would definitely say that golf, it's massive amongst footballers. That's obviously how I've ended up here. Um, there's so many people that I know that play, play golf, so who knows, they might. What brings you down to the golf course today? Yeah, that very reason. Um, I've got a lot of friends who play golf. Um, obviously, being from Northern Ireland, it's very big there, um, just with some of the golfers we've produced. Um, but I'd say, most recently, the Netflix documentary that came out, I was hooked on it. It was so good. Um, I watched it, and that was it. I was so invested in golf, and just as a hobby, something to do when the weather is beautiful like this. Um, to come out and especially in off season I'm coming up to my off season and gives me something to to do who's your favorite golfer oh I've got to say Rory McIlroy haven't I you've got to it's say it's a given it's a given <laughs> so was he your influence in taking up golf or was it someone or something else um I would I would say that I've always had I suppose one eye on it just because Northern Ireland's a small country and to have an absolute global superstar like Rory come from the country you are inclined to keep one eye on it so I always I always did but I didn't really know much more than that to be honest so I feel like I'm getting better in terms of education around golf um the players um the structure <laughs> the various different tournaments etc um so yeah I'm excited I'm excited to get to know it more and hopefully keep practicing a little bit more and get to a good enough standard where I can hopefully go and do an actual round of golf that would be cool. So there's a famous saying within the golfing community all the gear no idea. <laughs> that is me. That is you. <laughs> that is you do me. have all the gear over there. I do have all the gear. <laughs> do you have any idea? Um, I know a little bit more after today to be fair um, but pulling up in here today no I had no idea where I was going or anything. <laughs> What, what changed today? Um, I think it's just little tips, um, you know. Um, so I, th I feel like I now have a better understanding of the different clubs and what they're used for, which I didn't really know before. Um, and just then subtle, subtle tips on technique, I suppose, just helps with confidence and stuff as well. Can we ask to see you hit a chip shot onto the chipping green? Yeah, sure. Do you want to see that? Yes, please. Let's go. We can have a look in your bag, can we? <laughs> you can. You certainly can. I mean, it's no bells and whistles, but it's it's a start. <laughs> oh, it's a full set of clubs, though. It is a full set of clubs. What's your go-to chipping club? This one. You What's can see one? you can see the the dirt and stuff on it. It's been it's been used quite well a bit. Well used. Yeah. So, uh, do you want me to? Chip one over there or chip it on here? Uh, chip one over there would be lovely. Okay. Goodness, I've only brought one ball over. I hope I, uh, I do this right. Do it justice. You'll produce some magic, I'm sure. I'm sure. 
straight into the bunker. No, no, no. No. It's on the green. Yay. <laughs> that was a great shot. Are you enjoying learning a yeah. new sport? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, it's obviously so different to football. Obviously, football has been my life since I was four. Um, I did other sports in school, um, but never golf um, or anything that. Well, I did hockey, which is kind of like you know you have a stick and whatever, but never anything that has something else. So <laughs> it's would, a. Would you call golf a sport? Yeah, definitely. Um, I would say, obviously, most of what I use is my legs, but even just on my swing, like I'm, I'm quite tight and stuff up here. So you've got to be really mobile. Um, I picked that up straight away. I was like, I really need to work on, on my flexibility and mobility. But yeah, 100% it's a sport. Let's see if you can hold this putt a nice up and down. Oh, ah! that was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. That was so good. How do you feel after that? That that's amazing. It's just like scoring a goal. There's no <laughs> feeling quite like it. Simone, do you have any advice for young girls who may be watching and are thinking about taking up golf? Yeah, for sure. Um if it's something that I suppose like anything like football, golf, um, if it's something that you're interested in, um, practice. Uh, just yeah. Just practice, have fun doing it. I think it's the most important thing in anything that you're doing. Um, you want to have fun, you want to enjoy it. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. And uh, yeah, who knows what can happen and where it could take you. That's amazing. And final question, please, Simone. What is a quote that inspires you every day and gets you moving forward? Um, something that um, one of my coaches told me whenever I was young was uh, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. And it was just one quote that I've like lived my whole career. I always go back to that. It's, you know, even if you're not feeling up to it for the, as long as you can work hard every single day, then that's a given. Thanks, Simone. We'll leave you to practice. Yes. Thanks for your time. No worries at all. See you later. <laughs>